Good day everyone, my name is Anna and I am from Pimel S2A. Today, I'm going to talk about and explain the following. First and foremost, what is Judaism and what are the three main ideas of Judaism that I agree with as well as those that I disagree with. Before I begin, I would like to ask everyone who is listening or viewing this video to lend me their ears and eyes because this video will be quite long. And I hope that by the end of this video, you will have learned a lot about Judaism. Let's get started. To begin, what is Judaism? Originally, the term Jew defined Jewish identity, not Jewish belief. Rather than cultural identity, Judaism is associated with ethnic identity. According to Jacob, when we say Jew people, we are referring to both an ethnic group and a religious community. According to Hans Kuhn, Judaism is a religion with its own power, warmth, serenity, and humanity. The book of Abraham, which is the father of faith, is found in the Torah first five books. In Genesis chapter 14 verse 13, Abraham is also referred to as the first Jew. The word Jew is derived from the name Judah, one of the Jacob's twelve sons and one of the Israel's nations. Another book is the book of Isaac, in which God created a covenant with Isaac, according to Genesis chapter 17 verse 19. The book of Moses, which most Christians are familiar with, tells how Moses became God's messenger as well as assisted in the liberation of the Israelites from the Egyptians. A covenant was created between God and the Israelites in this book. God's promise to his people included bringing them to the promised land of Canaan. We also have the book of King Solomon, King David's son, who is credited with the constructions of Jerusalem's first temple. King Solomon's death resulted in the partition as well as dispersion of two kingdoms, the Judah in the south and the Israel in the north. Following that, the Hebrew Bible, the Mishnah, the Talmud, and the Midrash are the primary sources of Judaism's essential teachings as well as the creed. The first is the Tanakh, which is a compilation of historical events, stories, poems, laws, biographies, sayings, love songs, prophecies, and prayers written in the Hebrew. The Torah, the Nevi'im, and the Ketuvim are the three major portions. The Mishnah, which was compiled in 200 CE, is a collection of rabbinic teachings on the Torah. It contains teachings, thoughts, and ideas on how to live a Torah-compliant life. The Halakha and the Agada are its two most important documents. The Talmud, a compilation of rabbinic teachings that provide deep insights into the lives of Jewish people who follow the Torah, is another source. It was integrated into the Mishnah and Gemara. Finally, there is the Midrash or Exegesis, which refers to the rabbi's interpretation of the Torah's teachings. It's worth noting that this source contains a lot of anecdotes that can be used in sermons. Let us now move on in the second goal of this video, which is describe the three fundamental beliefs of Judaism with which I agree. The following is a list of Jewish beliefs with which I agree. We believe in the existence of God. We have been taught as Christians that God is the creator of everything in the world and that He is the highest supernatural or preternatural being who is the ruler or sustainer of everything including humans. The belief in prophecy is the next phase and the Hebrew term for prophet is Navi which means to proclaim, mention, call, or summon. Since I was a kid, I've believed that God uses the words of His prophets to guide and save His people. Last but not the least, there is the belief in divine justice. A divine judgment that occurs in a single act on God's part. God's judgment and consequent reward or punishment are perfect. That's why whenever I am faced with circumstances beyond my control or when I feel pity for others, I always say, Bahala na si God. And now, we have arrived at the last section of our objectives, which is the total opposite of Objective 2. I'm going to explain the three fundamental beliefs of Judaism with which I disagree. The first is the future hope of believing in the coming of the Messiah, with Jews still anticipating the Messiah's or Messianic era's arrival. Their earthly vision of a world of peace and fairness is their future hope. The belief of the second coming of Christ expresses our future expectations as Christians. When evil will finally be put to rest, 
and thus the spiritual rewards previously done in Jesus Christ will be revealed substantially in the kingdom of heaven. The second is the belief of the Messiah's coming. Judaism does not believe that Jesus is the Messiah, in contrast to Christianity, which believes that Jesus is the Messiah because of his crucifixion and resurrection which gave redemption to humanity. Finally, there is the belief in the human immortality. We believe in Jesus in his passion, death, and resurrection as Christians. We follow his teachings and examples, and they hope to partake in his glorious resurrection after they die. There is no less awareness of God's grace and Christianity than in Judaism, but Judaism offers purification through participation in the Jewish people and through viewing the scriptures as teachings and enjoying a life of holiness. And with that, this film comes to a close. I hope you learned a lot about Judaism and its fundamental beliefs from me. We may have different religious beliefs, but I want you to know that all religions are true. Religion has different ways to reach God. Numerous rivers run in a variety of directions, yet they always end up in the sea. They are all the same person. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in our next video.